Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Fort Mead celebrates Black History Month, changes at the ID card office, the National Prayer Luncheon is coming up, these stories and more. But first, it's been named Reese Crossings and it represents the future of housing for Army Junior Enlisted Service members. Fort Mead and Pacerne Military Housing will hold an official grand opening of the Reese Crossings model home on February 20th. We got a Mead TV camera into the house for a sneak peek, but first here's a video from Pacerne detailing the new complex. Welcome to Reese Crossings, the Army's first on-post modern apartment community for junior enlisted single service members. This no cost to the Army initiative offers the same great benefits to single military members that their married peers are already experiencing in privatized on-post housing. Let's take a closer look at all the comforts and conveniences Reese Crossings has to offer. Comfortable, convenient, and connected. These aren't just slogans. At Reese Crossings, they're a promise. From our convenient on-post location to our spacious floor plans, the Reese Crossings experience includes the best of everything and the comforts of home. Reese Crossings offers an unmatched location right on post, so service members spend less time commuting and more time enjoying the good life. Just steps from the town center, you couldn't be closer to shopping and popular on-post amenities like the shophead, post exchange, commissary, barber, and the bowling alley. Just outside your door, the 24-hour community clubhouse has all the amenities that make living at Reese Crossings comfortable, convenient, and connected. Get your workout in before or after duty. Break a sweat in the fitness rooms that include cardio, cross training, and free weights. Or, if you prefer to get your training in outdoors, the one-mile PFT course is connected to the clubhouse, making it easy for circuit and interval training. Whether it's a quick run or intense workout, it's easy for you to stay fit and train. Watch the big game or start your own online in our state-of-the-art club room with multiple flat screen TVs, sports ticker, and video gaming. It's easy to socialize and stay connected with Wi-Fi and charging stations for all your devices. Soak in the sun next to the pool or jump in to swim some laps. You have exclusive access to the resort-style pool with lap lanes. Jump on the court. Sand volleyball and full-size basketball courts are right outside. Start a pickup game or tournament. Throw some burgers on the grill and hang out with friends at the grilling and picnic pavilions. You can tailgate before the game without ever leaving home. In addition to recreational and fitness amenities, our clubhouse gives you direct access to the dedicated customer service team and 24-hour responsive maintenance services provided by Pacern Military Housing. The entire video is about five minutes long. You can watch it at www.reesecrossings.com. Meanwhile, Reese Crossings will ultimately fill the field across from McLaughlin Parade Field, where the model home sits now. It'll feature 428 furnished apartments, including 41 bedroom apartments and 399 two-bedroom ones. Reese Crossings is the Army's first on-post apartment community for junior enlisted, unaccompanied service members. The construction of Reese Crossings will allow the post to bring back displaced service members from off-post back to Fort Meade. CERN officials say the first units will be available by the end of this year. Once again, the official grand opening takes place on February 20th. Meanwhile, February is Black History Month. This year's observance, sponsored by the Naval Information Operations Command, Maryland, featured guest speaker Rear Admiral James W. Crawford III, the Deputy Judge Advocate General for the Navy and Commander of the Navy Legal Service Command. His remarks focused on this year's theme of at the crossroads of freedom and equality and how much more work there remains to be done. When color becomes so insignificant, that is irrelevant to the conversation, then perhaps we have reached our collective and shared goal. That dream so artfully drawn for us 50 years ago in front of the Great Emancipate. So February is not only a time to commemorate souls of the past and acknowledge those who stand among us, but it's a time to consider, what are you doing? To fulfill that dream and breathe life into what Dr. King saw for us all. God bless you, and I thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today. In other news, the Fort Meade Rapids site, or real-time automated personal ID system, better known as the ID card office, is announcing an extension of operating hours. Effective March 4th, they'll be open from 7.30 in the morning to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, except the last Wednesday of every month, where they'll close at 12.30. Additionally, starting in April, Saturday service resumes with ID card service by appointment only. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great President's Day weekend and a great Mead Week.